Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Injustice Investigations. I'm Al Scott. Uh, a couple of breaking news stories that we're following. The first one comes from out of Shreveport, Louisiana. Authorities on both sides of the Red River are investigating a plane that may have possibly came down in the area north of Shreveport, close to the downtown airport area. However, there are no physical evidence that a plane has uh, went down, but authorities on both sides of the river are investigating uh, that a plane may have went down, so uh, they're investigating. That right before we uh, came on uh, air, we checked to see if there was any new updates with that, and of course uh, there wasn't, but when we get new updates, we will uh, bring them to you. Um, before we get to uh, R. Kelly, uh, briefly, I want to speak about Pam Norham. She is Virginia's governor, Ralph Norham's wife. Uh, if you didn't know who Ralph was, well, he, his name became household about three weeks ago uh, when some pictures popped up from in the 80s during med school of him uh, with a black face and someone standing with a KKK uh, robe and uh, cap hat on. Uh, she's now making headlines because uh, some kids was on a tour and she showed them a piece of cotton and uh, uh, basically asked them to fill it, you know. Now, they said it was racist, uh, uh, unprofessional, uh, derogatory, and I totally disagree with all of that. This has got to be one of the most damn sensitive uh, 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 country on the planet. You can't say this, you can't say that. You don't want to offend the Jews, you don't want to offend the Muslims, don't get up, you're going to get the Christians upset, don't get the gays upset, don't get the lesbians, don't get the whites, don't get the blacks. I mean, it, this is a sensitive country. Sometimes I think we blow things out of proportion. If possible, could you share some information about Michael Colin? Uh, we will, but uh, not now. Uh, but I will bring you some information on Michael Colin. Uh, we're just going to be brief. Uh, basically, uh, the news break was uh, about a, a couple of stories with R. Kelly being uh, at the top, but we're going to bring him up uh, last. Again, I don't think the uh, the wife of uh, the governor in Virginia meant any harm. You know, it was just like, this is real cotton. You know, this is how it failed. People were picking cotton and stuff back then. You Could you imagine being in that era? You know, so I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, when my sister Bernadette Winbush and I and her husband, Tony, went to visit some plantations in, in Mississippi, we were taken to some uh, slave quarters and um, everything, and that was just the original. And then we was given cotton to fill uh, that they had uh, and stuff. So, And it was a white lady that was taking us on a tour of the, uh, of the plantation because she now owns it. So we didn't take offense to that. Uh, I just think sometimes we, we overthink things or we won't to put something there that's not really there. Simply put, uh, uh, position determines perspective. What you see depends upon where you're standing. And we have to stop making everything out to be uh, an issue. And it's not an issue. Uh, she let them feel cotton. I don't, I, nothing's wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. That's just my opinion. Okay, now let's get on to, uh, to the breaking news story uh, from out of Chicago. Um, Okay, I was reading something someone was writing. Okay, um, R. Kelly. It, it's not getting any better for R. Kelly. Um, his ex-wife, Andrea, is working close with authorities. She alleges she has some new evidence. Uh, we don't know what the evidence is, but she has it. Uh, I think today, this evening, or sometime tomorrow, she meet with authorities in New York City. Again, we don't know what it is, but uh, she says it's, it's some solid information. And from what I gather, it might involve more people, maybe in law enforcement. I'm not for sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But she will be meeting with law, official, uh, law officials uh, in New York City. Also, uh, good afternoon, Stacey uh, Winbush, my sister from California. I love you, I love you, I love you. Glad to see you tuning in. Tell everybody I said hi. Um, 
Now, R. Kelly could go back to jail, in my opinion, any day. Any minute now, R. Kelly could be placed under arrest again. Not to mention the um, child support issue, which is uh, has to be uh, taken care of by the 6th of March. And it's not looking good on that. Now, it's also not looking good because, as promised, Attorney Michael has delivered some more damaging uh, tapes of R. Kelly. Now, if you have kids in the room, I'm going to ask you now to ask your children to leave. Because this is going to be graphic, and I'm not going to hold anything back. So, uh, if you have your children close by you, you know, you might want to tell them to uh, exit for just a few minutes. And then we'll go into what's allegedly on this tape that has uh, surfaced again of R. Kelly and another underage girl. So, anyway, along with that, working with the authorities on that, Kelly's ex-wife is also working closely with her attorney and others to uh, get him locked back up uh, with, uh, with a child support issue. Now, the new tape that has surfaced is two. I only know uh, information about one of them right now. It involves another underage girl. Again, I guess it's something with the number 14. I don't know. She says she is 14 years old. He echoes she is 14 years old. R. Kelly has been positively identified as the individual uh, engaging with sexual acts with a 14-year-old girl. No, it is not the first one that identified her body parts as that of a 14-year-old girl. We're being told this is something totally new. Now, I don't know if this is on VHS or if it's on a DVD. Uh, it came up about a, uh, an hour ago, and I, I just got to it. Uh, so once I get off air, I'm going to go and dig for more information. But uh, this girl, R. Kelly, also urinates on her, allegedly. Not only does he urinate on her, he urinates um on her breast, anal, on her face, and they both perform oral sex on each other in this new video. Again, I hope you did not have your kicks in the room because I told you it was going to be uh, graphic. There are a lot of other things that uh, I'm going to leave out because it gets worse than that. Uh, it's just not looking good for Kelly. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, you, everybody is is due or should be given due process. You don't want to rush and to convict anybody just because you want them convicted. Uh, <clears throat> you have to give them a chance to uh, to be heard. Their attorneys to be heard. You know. But let's be honest now. I've never condoned anything that R. Kelly has been accused of doing. Never. I've just always asked for. Uh, due process of the law, and I ask for that in this case as well. But, now listen, there are too many tapes coming out. That's suspect to me, why they keep just popping up, you know, one behind the other, like a domino effect. Whoever has the tapes, I wish they would just bring them all. Just bring all the tapes. Now, while they're playing this game, I have no earthly idea. Uh, but someone said on my YouTube channel that uh, it was a game that the attorney for the victim, for two alleged victims, was playing because uh, <clears throat> he wanted our kid to keep bonding out of jail or whatever. Well, that might be the case, and, and you know, and it could be possible. But here's what's going to happen: if R. Kelly is picked up on anything new right now, and you can quote me on this, there will be no bond. There will be no bond. I, Quote me on if he's picked up on, on these charges, new charges that just surfaced this tape, there would the bond would not be higher. There would be no bond. Now, if if you got all the evidence, not circumstantial, but the hardcore evidence, and they're pointing towards R. Kelly. Okay, well, come on now. I mean, 
having sex with a, a 14 year old girl and feminine it is super stupid. Not to mention the act itself is diabolical and just outright wrong. But when they keep popping up and you keep saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, you, you, cannot, you can say you didn't do it, but the evidence don't lie. The mouth will lie, but the videotapes, they never lie. They tell the truth. Now, again, for those of you who are just tuned in, uh, R. Kelly, uh, two new tapes have surfaced with R. Kelly having sex with uh, some underage girls. <clears throat> One of the girls we know is 14 years old. How do we know that? Again, she refers to her body parts uh, at, as that of a 14-year-old girl. And for those of you who are just tuning in again, this is not the same girl from the previous tape. This is a new uh, girl, allegedly. Uh, that tape has been turned over to the proper authorities in uh, Chicago. In this tape, uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly has been positively identified as being the individual engaging in sexual acts with an underage girl. R. Kelly also, just like one of the other tapes, uh, urinates on this girl as well. He urinates on her breast, her vagina, her anus, face, and they both perform oral sex on one another. Someone says, all those are not lying on his worthless behind. I can't do anything but say her name is Sherry Washington. If I, <clears throat> Sherry Washington, thank you for tuning in, first of all. If I disagree with you right now, I would be lying to my damn self. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you on that. Uh, but I just always try to make it clear that I'm never, and I have never, and I never will condone Anything that R. Kelly is accused of doing and is uh, 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 proven to have done, I just believe in due process of the law. Where are all these tapes coming from, Sandra? I don't know. That's suspect to me, uh, Sandra. That's that, that's a great question. Uh, that bothers me because I'm like, this was a setup somewhere. Regardless to <clears throat> if he's guilty or innocent. But I think it might be safe to say right now he's, uh, I'm not going to even say it because I'm not going to do that. But it's almost like a blackmail case went bad. These tapes been out for a long time. We know that. Uh, good afternoon, LaDane Morris, my brother. What's up, Pookie? Love you big time, brother. Uh, <clears throat> if you don't pay me what I'm asking, I'm going to start releasing these tapes one by one. I'm not saying that's the case, but that's what it seems like to me because they just keep popping up. Again, bring bring the bundle. If it's 50 tapes, I don't give a damn. Bring them all today. That's what I would do. If I was the attorney, or, or the prosecutor, or the judge, if you bring me another tape, I'm not going to look at it. I want them all now. Because th th there's something else going on with, with the attorney that's representing a couple of the uh, alleged victims. <clears throat> Uh, he's got an axe to grind. Uh, he's very angry about this, and I can understand, uh, understand him being angry about it. But when you in in law enforcement, and when you're an attorney, you have to be able to uh, not let your emotions overtake you. Do what you took an oath to do, and let the courts try them there. You don't come out and try them outside of the courtroom in front of the microphones and the cameras. You don't do that, and. Uh, and that's what he has been doing. Excuse me, my voice is going out. And that's what he's been doing since the beginning of this. So again, uh, that's 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 a mystery to me too, uh, Sandra. Where are all these tapes coming from, and why are they popping up now? And most importantly, my number one question. Well, two. Who had the damn tapes this long? And what the hell were you doing with them this long? I just want to know. I mean, I'm just being honest. Were well, you masturbating off of them? What were you holding on so long for? And how does this one attorney keep getting a hold to all these tapes? It's just something that's not right. Whether R. Kelly is guilty or not, it's just something not right about this damn attorney. It's just it's something's wrong. Something's wrong. Now, okay, oh, Sherry, uh, I think the parents knew and knew their money is running out 
and know, okay. Listen, you better watch your mouth, Sherry. I'm going to tell you that now. Miss Washington, you better watch your mouth. You're going to get in trouble because I did. I'm saying exactly what you're saying. It's no way on earth you can make me believe that none of those parents knew, didn't know what was going on. They knew. These were poor black girls from the ghetto, from the project, from the hood. Didn't have anything. They knew what was going on. They pimped their daughters out to the self-proclaimed Pied Piper himself, R. Kelly. They knew what they were doing. They did it. They did it. I tell you what, I stayed up late last night digging and digging. We were looking at the background of, um, of the parents. Again, they broke. But one of the parents had some nice vehicles, two of them to be exact. Very nice home. When you add their incomes up together, monthly, yearly, they couldn't, they couldn't afford it. It was impossible. It was impossible. You, you, they, they didn't have it. They bank account showed they didn't have it. But it also showed when they started purchasing such said items. And the ones that we did background checks on, they didn't become a dollar too richer until the little girl started to disappear. Not coming home and hanging out with R. Kelly. Teaching him how to dance. Teaching him how to sing. He's a star. Then they started coming up and down. But you got to come before the cameras now. You're trying to do damage control on yourself before it pops up because you know it's coming. It's coming. You cannot make me believe that nobody that worked for uh, R. Kelly knew what was going on. His, an ex-manager of his, uh, I watched a video this morning. He says he left R. Kelly in 1995. He was reading a book. I sounded the alarm. I told people what was going on. Nobody wanted to listen to me. He said, yeah, uh, I was the one uh, uh, took uh, Aaliyah to do this and to do that, and we knew that she was falsifying information and stuff, but uh, whatever R. Kelly wants, R. R. Kelly gets, and that's what he wanted, so that's what we did. But he allegedly, he sounded the alarm early, but nobody believed him. Nobody believed him. Now, if he's telling the truth, I don't know, but he, he, uh, he, he uh, does have a book out. Uh, Alan says, I'm glad somebody's thinking like me, because some are acting like they can't read between. That's, that's it. That, that, that's it. So if, if you look at this and go like, this went on for about almost 30 years. So what we're hearing about R. Kelly today is nothing new. This didn't just pop up. He was acquitted in 2008. And they keep asking well, why he didn't go to jail then. Well, duh, D-U-H. Evidently, they found him not guilty. However they found him not guilty, they found him not guilty. But keep in mind, one of the girls on the tape didn't want to testify. The parents didn't want to testify. So it was hard to prove the case then. And so that was one of the reasons he got off. Probably along with, we know it, paying people off, lawyers off, attorneys off, the state off. People were paid big. R. Kelly should be worth over $200 million right now. This day. This day, he should be worth over $200 million. So where the hell did his money go? R. Kelly had a lot of lawsuits. A lot of them that the public didn't even know about because we're going to settle this out of court quick, fast, and in a hurry. And a lot, of, a lot of them settled for little or nothing. Along with bills. Not managing the money uh, correctly. Splurging here and there. Now, uh, these new tapes, they're serious. I mean, these demographic uh, in detail than what we've heard about the previous tapes.
Now, now he's not only urinate on his own <coughs> vagina, the breast, the anus, the face, and the hair, and all sex together. So we have to be honest. Our Kelly has a problem. He has a problem with uh, liking on little girls. I know he's been he was molested as a child. Allegedly, he says. His brother also says he was molested as a child. I listened to a song the other day, and I know I'm going over my time. <clears throat> I listened to a song the other day, and it's called I Admit. I didn't listen to all of it, but I listened to enough. When I heard a certain part, I just stopped and got to thinking about something he said. R. Kelly said, and he also said the same in the interview, he says that uh, I'm a blessing and a curse. And I kind of felt just a little sympathy for him then because I'm like, he is. That's what he is. He knows it. He's a blessing and a curse. I think he was being interviewed one time by uh, Travis Smiley. And he talked about being molested on that show. I think it was Travis Smiley. And uh, he said, uh, yeah, I was molested by several members of my family. And uh, <clears throat> he says, I think it's a generational curse. Is that possible? Absolutely. It's absolutely possible that the traits can be handed down to you. <clears throat> but if you don't do nothing quickly to kill this seed before it grows strong in you, you will compete the acts of your past relatives. So it could be a generational curse. Does that mean we be lenient with him in the courtroom? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Whatever the courts decide, they decide. Uh, and that's it for now. That's, that's all I have. Uh, new, two new tapes have just surfaced. <clears throat> Andrea Kelly, uh, R. Kelly's ex-wife, is working closely with authorities in Chicago and New York City with some new solid evidence that she's going to present. They haven't told, uh, told us what that's going to be yet. Uh, not to mention the child support issue. Uh, if R. Kelly is picked up again, and I do believe that that is a strong possibility, I also believe if that happens, that he will not be granted a bond this time. And I know many people won't, you've been hearing different things about the lady who allegedly paid $100,000 to bond him out. Uh, we did a little digging on her. That might be her name, it might not, I don't know. But uh, here's the thing. If she wanted to bail him out, then that's her prerogative. We can't do anything about it. Uh, but she did say that it wasn't her money, that she was doing it for someone else. But she is a wealthy woman now. She is wealthy. Allegedly, they met on a cruise and then allegedly met at a restaurant. You know, So there's 101 stories going, out, going on right now. But uh, I really could care less about uh, who she is and why she paid. She paid, and that's it. Beverly Thomas, good afternoon. She says the parents should be held accountable. I wonder how can you all say this and you don't get a backlash from it? Because every time I bring up the parents, not all of them now, but the majority of the parents not only knowing about this, that they was pimping their children. I mean, it's like I done, I done said the ultimate sin. You blase, blase, blase. I'm like, I didn't say they all did it. But I know some of them knew what was going on. Some of them knew. R. Kelly's ex-manager who left him in 1995, he says, the people that are with him now, they know everything. And I know damn well they do. Knowing it and proving it, now that's two different things. I can know you killed John Paul Getty. But if I cannot prove it in the courtroom, then what I know matters a damn. It's obsolete. You know. So, uh, the burden of proof is on the state. And right now, it's looking good for the state. It's not looking good for uh, R. Kelly. I I'm going to say something quick, then, then I, I have to get out of here. I listened to a brother last night. He identified himself as being R. Kelly's cousin. And I guess he is. He was sitting in his kitchen, and he was doing a video about R. Kelly. His cousin. And he was talking about how the media beating up on him. He talk, uh, I talked about when the ex uh, Quincy Jones about it and Quincy asked a reporter, what do you think? 
and um, Quincy said something to the degree about the powers that be or something like that, and uh, he was upset with that. But he has on dark shades, and he's looking this way, but the camera's here, and then there's one on the side. And I don't know if he's blind or, or, or what. I don't think he is because he reached for his drink and he's cooking something at the same time. But and when you get time, try to go find the video because I may be wrong. But here's what he said. He talked about Jesus. When they took Jesus before Pilate. You know the story. Basically, Pilate looked and said, I find no room. I find no fault in this man. None. None whatsoever. For all have seen, all in short of the glory, that he who is out sin commit the first stone. We know that. Now, he said he wasn't, but I really believe that he was trying to compare R. Kelly with Jesus. And if he was, he should be locked up on a felony charge of outright super stupid stupidity. You can't compare them together. Jesus was not guilty. Jesus was not guilty. Jesus was not accused of uh, raping 14-year-old girls. So how in the hell can you have the audacity to sit there and compare R. Kelly with Jesus? No, no, that's not what, that's not what I was doing. So don't y'all think that that's what he's saying. But I don't see it that way. And I don't know how he even got that thought together. To, I mean, that's just like using the word Trump and legal in the same sentence. Don't make no sense. Don't make no sense. You cannot compare R. Kelly to Jesus. Whatever your name is, brother, you cannot compare R. Kelly to Jesus. I'm leery about where the tape's coming from. But I'm also saying he didn't learn from the first time when he got off of the child pornography charges. And so when you continue to do that and you're brought back to the system, Here's what the system says. And anybody with any rational thinking says, oh, he playing with us. Oh, he thinks because who he is and the money he got that I won't sit his ass down. They will sit your ass down until time ends and begin again. That's what, they're, that's what will happen. And again, I believe he's going to be locked up, picked up again, rebooked. The bail, kill it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm sure he was hungry that night. Uh, somebody says, how in the blankety blankety you're going to compare a God to a pervert? I, I, I agree. Listen, he says he didn't. That's not what he was doing. The way I took it, that's what he was doing. So uh, I'm going to share the video on uh, the Injustice Investigations Facebook news page shortly after uh, this video ends. And so you all can go and listen to it. And, and if I'm wrong, then just say, Scott, you got it wrong this time. And I will apologize, but that's just the way I took it. Uh, so, you know, you go and uh, look at it. But again, uh, two new videos has uh, surfaced um, with R. Kelly having uh, sex with underage girls. Again, and again, this, this child is alleged to be 14 years old. They have been uh, turned over to the proper authorities. And if R. Kelly was molested as a child, and I believe it's possible, uh, he should have sought help by now if he looked at it as a problem. But it doesn't look like he did. He, he, he looked at it as if, I love it anyway. And so when you're in the limelight like that, then you've been accused of something once. Whatever you do, don't put yourself in a predicament to be looked upon as a pervert again. I know it was hard. When he was released, he went to McDonald's. I had anything wrong with that. I probably would have wanted to McDonald's too. But here's what I wouldn't have done. Uh, <clears throat> what I wouldn't have done 
if I want, when I went to McDonald's, I wouldn't have went in. I just got out of jail. <clears throat> I want this. Go get this for me, and I'm going to sit, go home or wherever, and I'm going to eat it and enjoy it there. I'm not going to go there. I'm not in the mood to see no fans or sign no damn autographs. This is a serious issue. My voice is going, y'all forgive me. So I'm not going in. I found that <clears throat> disturbing. And then I'm like, well, it's a prerogative. But you have to kind of walk on eggshells when you've been accused of molesting a little girl. And then you go right to the spot where they hang out at. But then some lady said that not only is that where they hang out at, that that's, that's uh, spot was special to him because it was his last memory of him and his mother together. I hadn't done no research. I don't know if she's telling the truth or not. But if that be the case, and I can understand that. Uh, quickly, before we go, uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Wells, uh, somebody says, yes, he, he should have stayed in the uh, car. Exactly. He should have stayed in there and stuff, you know. So, you make me wonder. If you want me to, to look at you as a victim, carry yourself as such. But everything you do, even if I want to look at you as a victim, I can't. Because everything you're doing, it says you're guilty. Uh, for those that came late, that they're asking for what happened. Uh, some new tapes have surfaced uh, with R. Kelly. Um, allegedly having sex. With another underage girl. She's 14 as well. Again, she refers to her body parts as that of a 14-year-old girl. R. Kelly echoes those words. Uh, they engage in oral sex on one another. He urinates on her, her breasts, her vagina, her anus, and her face. And I'm going to stop there. It goes on, more graphic, but I'm going to uh, stop there. We're going to do our best to keep you updated on everything that's going on with R. Kelly. We are devoting a lot of time to this because we see it as a very serious issue and an issue that needs to be talked about, an issue that needs to be uh, discussed. Now, let, let me say this here. The only thing that's worse than what R. Kelly is being accused of right now, and quote me on this here, the only thing that is worse then what R. Kelly is being accused of right now are the other crimes that he may have committed that we don't know about. No, someone says they say it's the same girl. What, what I have is that it's not the same girl, it's a different girl. The tape that was turned in last week is the same girl, different different time. So two tapes of the same girl from the first charges, the one that popped up a few days ago, same girl, but supposedly not be the same tape. Let's put it that way. The one that popped up this morning, uh, allegedly a totally different girl. Allegedly. And so that's all we have. But we will uh, continue to keep you all uh, updated on this the uh, best that we can. And again, I'm going to share R. Kelly's video on the uh, Injustice Investigations uh, Facebook page. As always, I thank you all for uh, listening to the show. And when time allows you to, uh, please stop by YouTube and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. That will make me feel so good. I feel so loved. I feel so loved. As always, you all be blessed and be the Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see you all. On tomorrow. Until then, I'm Al Scott with Injustice Investigations. Y'all have a good evening.